The exciting thing for us when we first started to try and think outside the box is we discovered that things that we thought were going to be barriers were not and that we were able to do things differently and change it up and make learning more engaging for students. So we're in the Inquiry 8 classroom and what happens here is we combine Science 8 with Humanities 8. They're not just writing something down that they read in a textbook. They're finding the information for themselves, they're reflecting on that information, and they're learning how to become better learners. It's not like we're completely dependent on a textbook. We get to do our own work and think for ourselves. Doing the projects like this really helps you understand how it works. Uh, we're giving opportunities for students to look at math and physics together. We're trying to get the students uh, aware that uh, you know math doesn't just happen in a classroom, but happens in the real world. Acceleration is dependent also on what? A lot of times, uh, people in math class will say, uh, "How does this relate to real life?" Um, for example, uh, Perry over there is notorious for asking, "So how is this going to help me in real life?" Uh, yes, I usually like to apply whatever I learn into the real world, just so I can either understand it more, or just that it makes it more interesting for me to actually want to learn more. We have excellent students here at Fraser Heights Secondary and our students have always excelled but they've been quite focused in the past on marks and we really wanted to change the focus more to learning and not to marks and we felt that um, if that was our emphasis that the learning would be deeper and our students continue to excel and we think we're really on the right track. We figured it out. It really isn't about being in the arts, it's about thinking through the arts in a different way. It's about the creativity skills, it's about the resilience that's developed from you know, the students that you just listened to in terms of music. They're developing relational skills, they're developing resilience. use Final Cut Pro and then we log it all onto the computer and we mash it up. Kind of like a, a learn through each other process. I mean, our teacher Niddle teaches us a few things and then you just kind of pass it off to whoever walks in and decides to join you. It's a, it's a group process altogether. We just feed off each other and teach each other new stuff and learn through mistakes. Each Remembrance Day, our community gathers in the Fort Langley Cemetery under the chestnut trees that were planted so long ago to show honor and respect to those who fought for our country and freedom. Remembrance Day is of quite an abstract idea, so I wanted to find a way that they connect with and technology is something they do connect with. We have kids in Coquitlam, kids in Kenya, and kids here at this school, and what they do is they develop an inquiry-based question and then they put all their research up onto this website. It's more student to student learning rather than teacher teaches student. Each student eventually will have one professional mentor, so we have um, doctors and engineers and lawyers and veterinarians. It just really gets you thinking in different ways and then you find that just being in this course helps you think of the world in different ways. It's innovative, It's as far as we know it's never been done. Um, every time we sit down for a meeting, we're adding new things in, so it's not easy for teachers, but it is probably the most rewarding experience I've had as an educator. The students are really taking responsibility for their own learning, and in doing that, they'll get as much as they put into it. It's not enough for us just to have the students study the masters or work with different things, but by the time they graduate, we want them to work with an exit portfolio that really expresses who they are.